Hello guys, welcome to my channel Think Large. So today we are going to discuss various multiple choice questions related to food fortification which includes its method, methods which are used during the fortification, levels of fortification and effect of fortification on food and types of fortified food which are fortified with different types of nutrients. These all are come under today's topic. So guys, these, these questions are very helpful for you in the preparation of food safety officer exam and it also includes other entrance exams. So let's start. What is fortification of food? Option A deliberately increasing the content of content of an essential micronutrient in food option b providing tablets containing vitamins and minerals along with food option c proper cooking and storage of food to avoid loss of nutrients option d ensuring minimum amount of nutrient in food and the right answer is option A. Deliberately increasing the content of an essential micronutrient in food. So guys, basically fortification is the addition of key vitamins and minerals such as iron, iodine, zinc, vitamin A, vitamin D to staple foods such as rice, milk, salt, which is basically done to improve their nutritional content. These nutrients may or may not have been originally present in food before processing. Next question. Which of these is an example of food fortification? Option A. Adding iodine to common salt to prevent goiter. Option B. Adding fluoride to water to prevent dental caries. Option C. Adding vitamins, vitamin A and vitamin D to milk and oil. Option D. All of these. And the right answer is Option D. All of these. Such as, such as addition of iodine to common salt, addition of vitamins and other nutrients to food is come under the fortifica fortification process or fortified food. Next question. Plus F logo stands for option A food fortification, option B organic food, Option C. Vegetarian food. Option D. Genetically modified food. And the right answer is Option A. Food fortification means fortified food. So basically it, the plus F logo is designed to differentiate between regular products and fortified products and it is designed by developed by FSSAI it will help to increase consumer awareness and assist consumers in making healthier food choices and also the plus F represents completeness the square around the plus F represent completeness and the plus sign is about adding extra nutrition by vitamins and minerals to the daily nutrition requirements. And the ring illustrates the ring of good health protection for an active and healthy life. So these are all the some basic points related to plus F logo which stands for food fortification. So, going to next question. Food fortification affects option A, appearance of food, 
option b smell of food option c taste of food option d no effect on organolactic properties and the right answer is option d that is no effect on organolactic properties means food fortification not alter the characteristics of food such as taste the look of food and the feel of food next question which of the following methods is used for food fortification option a mass fortification option b universal fortification option c targeted fortification option d all of the above and the right answer is option d all of the above all these methods that is mass fortification universal fortification and targeted fortifications are basically used for food fortification so next question milk is fortified with option a vitamin a option b vitamin c option c vitamin d and option d is both vitamin a and d and the right answer is option d means both vitamins vitamin a and vitamin d milk is fortified with these were both vitamins and the most active state of these vitamins which are in the absorbable absorbable forms will be added during the fortification process in the milk next question rice is fortified with which nutrient option a vitamin a and vitamin d option b iron folic acid and vitamin b12 option c folic acid vitamin b12 and vitamin d option d vitamin a iron and vitamin c and the right answer is option b iron folic acid and vitamin b12 rice is mainly fortified with iron folic acid and vitamin b12 to prevent the deficiency of these nutrients next question double fortified salt that is dfs contains option a iron and folic acid option b iron and iodine option c calcium and vitamin d option d iron and vitamin c and the right answer is option b iron and iodine so basically double fortified salt that is dfs is mainly fortified with iron and iodine to prevent the deficiency of iron which is the main reason of anemia next question fats and oils fortified with which micronutrient option a vitamin a and d option b vitamin a option c vitamin d option d vitamin e and the right answer is option a vitamin a and d fats and oils are mainly fortified with vitamin a and vitamin d next question wheat flour is fortified with which nutrient option a vitamin a and vitamin d 
option B iron folic acid and vitamin B12 option C folic acid vitamin B12 and vitamin D option D vitamin A iron and vitamin C and the right answer is option B iron folic acid and vitamin B12 so wheat flour is mainly fortified with iron folic acid and vitamin B12 next question which of the following products do you think are fortified in India option a milk and oil option B salt option C wheat flour and rice option D all of these and the right answer is option D all of these so all these products such as milk oil salt wheat flour and rice are fortified in India next question which of these foods have been fortified with vitamin D option a fortified milk option B fortified oil option C fortified wheat flour option D both A and B and the right answer is option D both A and B so fortified milk and oil are mainly fortified with vitamin D next question as per FSS Act, maximum fortification of iodine in table salt is option A 10 ppm, option B 15 ppm, option C 20 ppm and option D 30 ppm. And the right answer is option D 30 ppm. So basically the level of fortification that has been used for the fortification of iodine in salt is ranges from 30 to 200 ppm which will provide enough iodine to meet the requirement of 150 to 200 mg per person per day so guys subscribe to my channel for more updates and also not forget to like thank you